All right, um, I have a couple of things, a couple of things about the Arena Football League coming back. First off, why? Why? Why did a bunch of former players get together and say, hey, we're going to be a bunch of ownership groups and stuff like that. We're going to get it. We got it this time. We got it this time. It's the third time's the charm, baby. Third time's the charm. We got it together. Second thing is where. You know, where where would the AFL be, you know? Where are these teams going to be? Is there going to be a Philadelphia revival? Is there going to be, you know, some of these markets, you know, that were with the AFL and aren't with the AFL no more? Now that the AFL is dead, there, there's those, some of those markets are still dead. You know, the only... The only team that's been revived is Albany and um, Columbus as well. Well, but they're the Wild Dogs, not the um, the Destroyers. So, um, you know, about Philadelphia, you know, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of you know that Northeast flair, you know that that region, you know, because that's where the AFL was concentrated by the time, you know, it ended. You know that upper, you know that upper northeast area. So, so that that's that's a big thing. You know where are these teams going to play? How much are they going to get paid? The Nets. There is the thing with the Nets because you know people people have been, you know getting this you know all sorts of different opinions on that. You know, oh with the Nets they don't cost that much to produce. You know they don't they don't cost much. Or alternatively, you know you. you you get guys like me who are saying, "Hey, these nets, they're expensive. They're expensive, and it's kind of it's kind of hard, you know, to you know keep these weird looking things, you know, maintained throughout the season, stuff like that. You, know, you gotta, you know, these things take a lot of. I don't think anybody understands. You know, these things take a lot to construct." Because they're, they're nets, but they're not, you know, they're nets, but they're also goalposts at the same time. So, you know, how will the rules work, too? You know, will it be the same rules and stuff like that? Or maybe Iron Man rules will come back? You never know. Could be. I don't know. I really don't know. You know, Iron Man rules could come back into play in the AFL. And that'd be interesting. Although honestly, I, I don't think that should happen because I mean, Iron Man football is just not not feasible for me. I'm not, it's just why would I want to see a player, you know, get twice, you know, the opportunity to get hurt <laughs> instead of you know being on either offense or defense, and he gets hurt. That's that's my thing with that. You know, playing Iron Man is a two-way street. If you get hurt, you know, playing defense. You ain't gonna get it back to go. You ain't gonna get back to go out on offense no more. So, I don't know. I really don't. And you know, last thing is is what does this mean for you know the other the other leagues, the IFL, yeah, the, uh, the NAL, because the NAL is um, look kind of they're they're the only ones that have the arena, you know, part in their name so wonder what's gonna could there be could they be hinting at something you know AFL and AL you know that that's a that's a theory that's a theory I'm throwing it out there now but don't 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 take my word for it I, I'm throwing it out there as a theory because there's still some you know some that Northeast flair you know with with the National Arena League and of course the Southeast as well you know so um, you know they could take up you know the AFL they wanted to go back to that east you know that east coast you know thing that they were doing upper northeast you know and southeast and the coast east coast they could do that they could do that they could impede on the IFL's where the IFL's trying to be because the IFL can't seem to stay you know where they're supposed to be in the upper midwest and southwest you know, because they want to go east. You know, the IFL wants to go east. You know, how's that going to factor into play? Because the IFL is expanding, although they did, although we've been talking about, you know, Louisville being absolutely terrible all week, you know, as a terrible organization. And the IFL got a big, big new new, a big black stain, 
you know, on their season, you know, with with the fact that they had to terminate Louisville. Louisville's still thinking they're gonna, you know, be a thing. They're still thinking they're gonna be a thing. You know, I hope that's not gonna happen. I really hope not. Um, but yeah. yeah, that's all I gotta say on this Friday night. Um, got the Blizzard Bucks game on. Bucks are just beating up on the Blizzard right now. I got it on my phone here. Uh, man. Can't wait for Saturday, though. It'll be a great time on Saturday, you know, for the IFL. And, of course, all the other leagues, the NAL, CIF as well. And, you know, as we close the month of June here with arena football, indoor football scene, going to be interesting to see how things shake out because there's a lot of storylines left to go. So the AFL coming back, you know, potentially in 2023. Um, I know some other people have had some thoughts on it as well. And I'll try and link those, you know, down in the description and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say on this matter. If the AFL comes back in 2023, then by all means, go ahead. You know, I guess there's one more question too. You know, where are they going to put their games? Because, you know, maybe ESPN Plus could be a thing. You know, have people pay for $4.99 or however much ESPN Plus is. Or do you want to go the CIF, NAL, and IFL route with YouTube? Or do you want to go the fan controlled football route with Twitch? It's up to you. Eh? It's up to you, AFL. It's up to you. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see ya.